Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So for me, it is currently 8.06 on December 31st, but this will be going up um, January 1st of 2018. So this year has been kind of crazy. I was like looking back on the year. I was like looking back in my Snapchat memories. Um, I should plug. Yeah, I was just looking back at like all of my memories, all of this stuff that happened and there was a lot of like cool stuff I did. I made a bunch of new friends. Like just 2017 was all around a phenomenal year. But 2018 is coming and I literally want it to be even better. 2018 is going to be my year. Like I just know it. I can feel it in my bones. I'm super excited for it. If you can probably tell from the title that this video is going to be my 18 resolutions of 2018. Yeah. Okay. So I wrote down my 18 resolutions for 2018 in my notes because, you know, I'm just goals. I don't know. Okay, so my first resolution for this year, like 2018, is to only eat out once a week. And the reason I like have that on my resolution is because me and my friends literally go out to eat so much and it hurts my body and it hurts my bank account. And those are the two things that, you know, I really treasure in this life. Not the only two things, obviously, but I do treasure those two things. My second thing is I'm cutting out soda completely, bro, bro, bro. I don't really drink that much soda, but I do, like, when I go out to eat, <laughs> um, I drink soda. And I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm just going to cut out soda and life's going to be good. My third thing is... Um, I'm going to try, like, every morning when I wake up, I want to think of five, like, things I'm grateful for. Okay, I have to take my retainer out. <laughs> oh, that was gross. My fourth resolution for this year is YouTube. I really want to build my channel and have a nice creative outlet for myself. I have a whole lot of ideas for this channel. I want to vlog, I want to put poems, I want to do covers, original music. I just have so many goals that I'm literally so excited for. So, you know, stay tuned. Um, my fifth resolution is to go to the gym at least three times a week, if not more. I know that's like such a basic, um, like New Year's resolution, but I have been trying for so long to just get my health better. I just wanna like be healthier, I guess. That's all I'll say about that. Um, my next resolution is I literally put eat healthier-ish, ish, ish. Like I'm not gonna like completely cut out all my junk food. Eh, you know, we all, we all struggle with that a little bit. But I do want to, like, focus more on my health. You know. My seventh resolution is to thrift shop. And I know this is, like, weird, but I literally, like, my closet is not, like, I, if, ugh, if I, ugh, oh my gosh. Okay. I just feel like if I thrift shop more, I could have such a cute closet, and it would be cheap, and I would have cute clothes, and... I just, it's really something that I want to, like, work on. I don't even know if that's a resolution, but it's one of mine. My eighth resolution is to drink good coffee. I don't know, like, I just, I want to make my life better by drinking better coffee. Number nine is to travel. As I'm getting, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? As I'm getting older, this has been something that has become more and more important to me because I love traveling. In 2017, I had some amazing trips. I went to New York. I went to Los Angeles. I went to Mexico, Florida, Washington, D.C., Pennsylvania. Like, I just, like, did a lot of really cool stuff, and I want this year to be even better. My... Tenth resolution is to take in every moment. And there's not much to say about that. I just really want to make memories that I will never forget like I did in 2017. Number 11. I feel like I messed up one of the numbers. My 11th resolution is to focus a lot on my mental health. And I feel like that's something that everyone can benefit from. But me personally, I just like, it's something that I have to put a lot of work into. 2018 is going to be the year that my mental health thrives. And I just, I'm speaking it now and I'm 
I just, I just feel it, you know? I feel like that's gonna be it. Okay, my 12th resolution is to journal more. You know, I've been journaling in one journal. Like, literally, I just, like, whenever I'm feeling really down or really happy or anything, mostly really down, I don't know, it's just, like, a good way for me to outlet all of my emotions, but I have this journal that I've been journaling in, and I want to really, like, I want to start filling that up. By the time I graduate, I just want to have that journal, like, at least halfway filled like I've been journaling in this thing for like three and a half years and I'm not even halfway done with it but I do have like some good entries in there and I'm really glad that I've like kept it going for so long so that's my resolution okay my 13th resolution is really only going to be put into effect for like the next month and a half two months but it's to go to more swim practices for some reason like I'm on the swim team but for some reason um dedication is like dedicating myself to a sport is like hard sometimes i don't know i just want to go to more of them and like really show my dedication for the team my 14th resolution is to swim for fun and the reason i put this on here is because i swim competitively but like i don't swim for fun anymore and that used to be something that i literally love i don't know just swim i guess i just want to swim Okay, my 15th resolution is to listen to different kinds of music. When I was younger, like in middle school a lot, I like identified hardcore with my music. Like I would listen to one type and I'd be like, this is my music, I only care about this music, music is life. Lately, I have been loving so many different kinds of music. Like I could be in the car and I could listen to like a country song. And I used to hate country and a lot of people hate country, but I like literally used to roll my eyes so hard whenever I heard a country song and lately I can listen to a country song and like l just appreciate the lyrics and kind of like jam out. I can listen to a country song and then I could listen to a pop song and I, I can listen to indie music which I love, like alternative stuff I absolutely love, old music, like literally just like like trap music, like I just appreciate music like so much and so in 2018 I really just want to continue that. My 16th resolution is to read more. When I was in, in elementary school I read like it was my job. Are you? I'd be like hi my name's River and I have a 10th grade reading level and I'm only in fourth grade and I don't read at all anymore so I just want to read more books. Um, My 17th resolution is to always keep my room clean. I literally like I love having a clean room when my room is messy I get super stressed out and lately, really only the past like three or four months, I have been letting my room get messy and it really stresses me out and then I can't focus again until my room is clean. So in 2018, your girl is always going to have a clean room. And my 18th resolution is to always, always keep up with my skincare routine. And I know that it's so basic, like literally just saying that out loud is like, wow, that's the kind of girl I am. I don't know, I just, 2018 is going to be the year that my skin is just always thriving and I'm just taking care of it and we're like on good terms. I'm gonna be drinking water. Like I'm literally just gonna, my, I don't, I don't even know what to say about it. 2018 is gonna be my freaking year.